in the kind of remote world we live in today, a tool that centralizes media management is really critical. We use Sony C pretty extensively in master control for our actual broadcast operation. Um, we're also using it in the digital space to help us do some digital publishing. Um, and then all of our productions use it for a lot of review. From a CTO perspective, it's also a single platform to manage, right? So in terms of security review, in terms of what we look at from platforms and what we expect out of them, I only have one of those to do instead of five, six, or seven as different people try different solutions. Um, you know, it's a single bill to pay, it's a single vendor to deal with. It just makes my life a lot easier. Sony C is really integrated into our master control, the way we broadcast every day. When our traffic team schedules content, all of our broadcast archive is in Sony C. Uh, and so the traffic system actually knows the location in C and starts to look for that content as soon as it's trafficked. The media Manager is built by PBS and um, does kind of all of the video play out for the system. So uh, what we, we actually were able to build this internally, a methodology that allowed um, a, a piece of media to arrive in Sony C and then take all of the metadata and uh, actually do a, a transcode and deliver that to Media Manager so that um, the same action that archives a piece of media from the traffic team also published it to an online video platform. Um, and that you know just saved a bunch of time, right? We avoided a transcode, we were able to pull out captions automatically. Um, all of that happens just uh, with Sony C and um, and some, some software that we built internally. We're big fans of the infrastructure that sits under Sony C. That's partly why we made the choice to go with Sony C. We do have a significant AWS presence. The interconnectedness there is, is really beneficial. Sony C has some great deliver to S3 bucket built-in tools that allow us to move media all over our infrastructure, not just in that Sony C ecosystem. All of those sort of underpinnings are really critical. The reason for cloud in our infrastructure at all is really about scalability, right? I can't scale Vantage transcode servers as quickly as Sony C can transcode for me. I'd share the best example of that uh, was we had a problem with our master control library. So that library had at the time about 30,000 hour long shows, more or less, in the library. And we needed to transcode all of them. And in order to transcode all 30,000 files, we would have taken months internally, but that level of scale wouldn't ever have been achievable in our building. We wouldn't have been able to do it. And there's no question that that cloud infrastructure is, was critical to make that happen.